I just sneeze, so I'm sure I look really weird. But we are back kind of to the old setup for a little bit. I do actually like filming in the kitchen for the most part, other than the fact that there's like a worse echo. Might need to figure something out there. But uh, the, it's like very gloomy out today, so the lighting wasn't quite reaching that area as much as I wanted to, so I figured I would film back in the old setup. Um, just got up not too long ago um, and woke up to see that uh, we had a little bit of an update on a not situation. I, that's what the Brits call them, and maybe that'll save me from demonetization, but I think YouTube just got to the point that if you put this guy's name anywhere, they're like, flag that shit. Um, but yeah, this is an update to the Austin Jones situation. So if you guys are unfamiliar with Austin Jones, I made a couple of videos about this. One of them actually was not too long ago, um, because there was kind of just an update in the case when he kind of pled guilty. So the last video I made about him was back in February because he had actually pled guilty. And, uh, we got, we got sentencing people. We officially got the sentencing down. So, uh, and it's a good one. It's actually a really good one. So again, if you guys don't want to watch those videos, just a quick, Really quick pan over, Austin Jones was a very, very popular YouTuber. He was known for doing those um, kind of um, acapella mashups where he was all of the people. So he kind of grew really big in the YouTube sphere. And then you got things like Glee that started blowing up. So mashup songs and just the entire concept of that really just helped fuel his career. I think he made some like original songs at some point. Girls loved him. He had that look, he had the swooped hair. He, he looked very much like he could have just walked into a, you know, One Direction music video and would have fit right in. Um, so he was incredibly popular, but unfortunately, he used that popularity and power over a very young audience to uh, manipulate them into sending him nudes and twerking videos and other horrible things like that. Um, so my, my other videos have some of the actual examples. I might post some stuff here, but some of the stuff he said to these girls was just absolutely uh, disgusting and he basically made them feel like if, if they didn't do it, uh, they, they weren't his biggest fan or that he was gonna be disappointed in them. And that's just, just horrible manipulation tactics that I know as adults, somebody might be like, you know, how could somebody fall for that kind of thing? But you know, when, when you're younger, when you're impressionable, when you're looking up to somebody and you see them as a hero and you know, you're young and you actually do find him incredibly attractive, but you're not, you're, you're, I feel like when you're younger, you're less likely to realize how messed up it is for somebody who's in their like mid to late twenties to be interested in you in that kind of way. And then once you're older, you're like, I can't imagine being interested in somebody who's in high school, that's disgusting. But when you're in high school and you think somebody older is into you, that for a lot of people, they take that as a compliment that makes them feel more mature, especially when it's like kind of like a celebrity like this, you think that there's some kind of protection there or, or that you should feel happy and proud and really like excited and honored to be bestowed with this. And that's how he made them feel. Basically, he manipulated their sensibilities, made them feel like it was such an honor that he was going to them. And uh, just like, he, he wanted to see pictures of their, of their, of their buttholes. Like literally, that's what he was looking for. That's what he had in, in the text sending to them. Just trying to make it really light. He was all like, oh, wouldn't that be so funny if you like bent over to the camera and like, and you like pulled your, your, your butt apart. Like, wouldn't that be so funny? And it was, it was just weird. It was really weird. And, um, you know, luckily he, he got caught. They have proof that he was sending these two underage girls and they have proof that he actually received photos from them. So that is why he's actually going down for 10 years for asking underage girls to send him sexually explicit videos and photos uh, to prove that they were his fans. And that's, that's what he got. He actually got them. So he's going down on ch uh, child pornography tr charges, which is good. And for 10 years, um, I think a lot of people might think that's low, but I think that's actually really good considering there are people who have recently this week, somebody like literally admitted and, and was proven guilty of raping a 14 year old. Uh, and he was their bus driver and he got no jail time. He got time served, basically the probation and everything that he had to deal with waiting for the trial is that person's punishment because he'd never done anything else and it was a first time offense, even though it had been a, a longstanding issue where he was doing weird things to girls and he didn't get any time. So the fact that Austin here got 10 years for receiving photos is actually really good. Um, I'm kind of disgusted by US uh, judiciary system, systems a lot of times. Um, I think there was another story this week uh, or like a couple weeks ago where it was the same kind of thing. Somebody, you know, raped an underage girl and, uh, didn't see any actual prison time. What is up with these judges? So honestly, I'm happy with the fact that he got 10 years. 
And obviously they take like child pornography charges themselves like very seriously. Like if you're if you're creating something that can be distributed, um, they, they take that very, very seriously. I think sometimes they might take that more seriously than actually you touching the child and if you get the kid to make it themselves. Um, and, that, and that's what I try to tell everybody. Like a lot of the times like people in my stream will make jokes about sending nudes, but I know sometimes there's like teenagers in my chat that are like, oh yeah, no, I'm so worried. You know, I sent like my girlfriend a nude or I sent my boyfriend a nude and now we broke up and I'm worried. And like, don't, don't do that because you can actually be charged with the creation and distribution of childhood pornography. If you are underage and you take photos of yourself and send them out there, you can be charged with distribution. Uh, I don't know that they always go that way for you, but it's just something that like, it's a possibility. And I think it's really important just to understand like, it, like in, in your mind, the worst thing that might happen with those pictures is that they go around your school, but you don't know who's gonna get them and what ideas they might get. Um, so just, you know, I got no problem with people that are like adults who want to like send stuff to their to their lovers and and nobody should uh, have to worry about that being used against you um you know like revenge porn wise which i'm really glad that that is illegal and and becoming a more punishable offense right now so like so if that's something you want to do as an adult in like a consenting trusting relationship that's fine but like please do not do that kind of stuff if you're under age or like in high school or anything like that it's just not it's not worth it <clears throat> and anybody's trying to force you into doing it is not worth it either. Get the frick out. So what was specifically said by the assistant U.S. attorney, Catherine Neff Welsh, uh, was that production and receipt of child pornography are extraordinarily serious offenses that threaten the safety of our children and communities. Jones's actions took something from his victims and their families that they will never be able to get back. So I'm really glad that they, they kind of made a stance here because um, there's been a lot of issues where kind of like celebrities from YouTubers to band members to I'm sure like lower grade actors or maybe even a lot of higher grade actors have used their positions to manipulate their fans. Especially I think a lot of them when they realize that they have this very young underage fan base, easier to manipulate, easier to convince to do things and not tell people. They just take advantage of that. I don't really know how Austin thought he was going to get away with some of this stuff. Um, because he put it out there very explicitly. He had videos of him literally trying to give examples to these girls on how to twerk. Um, so it's like, it, you can maybe lie and say like, oh no, somebody like hacked my account and was messaging girls from, you know, this. They, they hacked my sim or just a bunch of other stuff. You could at least try to talk your way out of it. But when you have videos that you're sending to girls trying to show them how to twerk, you can't, you can't get around that. And in court, so I remember there was like two main cases where there was transcripts um, that I mentioned in my other video, um, but he actually admitted to using Facebook to persuade minor girls to send in pornographic videos and pictures approximately 30 other times. So that could actually be a low number and that might not take into account girls that just completely ignored him off, off the rip, people that he just didn't give him anything. You know, he told them that they were gonna be part of like a modeling opportunity, that they were gonna help him get more followers on Instagram. He was just trying to look for like the right type of people or the right candidates for the position, that it was gonna like, you know, prove that he was their biggest fan, that his life was so stressful and that he just wanted to get more, and then he just wanted to show appreciation for his biggest supporters and all sorts of weird stuff. And it was really unfortunate because around that time he was involved in like a tour and there was a, like a YouTuber on the tour, there was another person on the tour that was speaking out against it. And you, you know, he was the one who ended up getting uh, punished for it in the long run. And he was the one who ended up getting kind of like barred from that tour. And it, it was just disgusting, everything that, that kind of went, went into it. I'm aware of the Austin Jones situation that you have managed to trend since yesterday. And I know this kid personally, I will set aside his issues as he will have to deal with them and his consequences. What I want to deal with is your incredible need to continue to post about this issue. I think you made your point. At this point, you have become an internet troll. What is your ultimate goal? To have this kid kill himself? Is that what you want? You are a bully. You say you just want to look out for other people and warn them. You have accomplished that. I would implore Blank to remove you from the tour for being an internet bully. And I would ask him to remove you from the tour as you are an embarrassment to his organization. I replied with, I truly apologize that you saw any of my statements or sharing of these victim stories as bullying. If you go through my Twitter account, a majority are retweets from the victims themselves sharing their stories. My goal was not to bully and rather spread awareness of someone I do not feel is safe to be around underage girls. I've had hundreds of underage girls open up to me with proof of inappropriate encounters that they've had with Austin and that was the main focus of sharing their stories. Again, I truly apologize for how this came across to you and if you would like to further discuss anything, 
please do not hesitate to contact me. And then the owner of the tour replied, Damon, I think you are starting to tread on thin ice. Be careful. Um, but yeah, f fuck you, Austin. I'm glad you actually got caught and your career had, w was ruined. Maybe it didn't happen fast enough because we couldn't actually stop you from getting that kind of shit from people, but uh, at least you got caught, at least you've been made an example of. So that's gonna do it for today's uh, video. Like I said, I will make another video about the things I kind of stepped over with like the bus driver and the other cases because they are wild and I don't understand how they didn't get jail time. This is another one of those situations where I think the judges need to be strongly looked into because I am disgusted. Um, but maybe that'll be like an immediate tomorrow video next week. Uh, I had some really, really, really strict editing deadlines the past couple weeks. So that is why there has been kind of like minimal videos, minimal streams. So hopefully I can get back on track this coming week feeling, feeling good. But uh, yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Have a fantastic day and we'll catch you all later.